Welcome back to HDTV Health District Television. With fundraisers, bazaars, and farmers markets prevalent at this time of year, we thought we'd answer one of our viewers' questions about producing and selling homemade food items. The district's Stephanie Bethel reports on why, most of the time, your award-winning apple pie can't be sold to the neighbors. We recently asked Paul Klaus in our Environmental Health Division if it's possible to start a home-based food business. Well, there's a short answer, which is you can't, to a longer answer, which is that if you actually comply with all the regulatory requirements, you could actually have a food establishment in a home area or someplace on uh, premises if you can get through all the zoning and building and health district requirements for that health permit. Uh, but that kind of takes away the home part of the home business. If by home food business you actually mean preparing foods in your private home kitchen that you would prepare your own foods and for your family, uh, then the answer is no, that it's not, uh, it's not legal in the state of Nevada to do that. There may be some exceptions and some ways to accomplish what you want to do within the law, and we'll get to those in a moment. But first, why is operating a home-based kitchen illegal? Well, first of all, it's, it's an access issue. We don't go into private homes. So it would have to be a publicly accessible place that we could go and inspect it. So it couldn't be your private kitchen as well as your public kitchen. It's got to be one or the other. So uh, if, if uh, they were to build a kitchen on the house that had its own door, we were able to go in there, look at it, and they had restrooms that were installed as part of that kitchen and it was all built out uh, commercially. Uh, yes, that is possible, but the kitchen used for private use can't be co-used for uh, a commercial use. On our website, snhd.info, you will find the very limited exceptions to these rules, and they are very specific to nonprofits and charities. However, we can offer a suggestion if you're going to pursue your own business. Saying no is very uncomfortable to us. Uh, we like to say uh, yes if you do it this way. What most people do when they want a, uh, a low-cost startup to a business like that uh, is they will go to a food establishment that already has a health permit and get a contract or a lease with them to use their facility when they're not using it or using a portion of their facility when they're not using it. So they go into a facility that already has a health permit, they obtain their own health permit for that space uh, under their name and that way it's uh, a facility that's li uh, permitted, licensed and that we can inspect and they do that work there. And we have many, many facilities that are doing that. Whether you're planning to build a large restaurant or you are just one person with a culinary dream, our Environmental Health Division staff really will listen to you and try to facilitate your ideas in the best interest of everyone. Start by looking up the basic requirements for what you'd like to do online at snhd.info. Do your research and then call for an appointment to discuss your plans.